Welcome here to my channel. I'm Simone Bortlotti and today we are going to talk about solo traveling. In particular, we are going to see how to take photos to yourself while traveling alone. So let's start. So now I'm going to give you some quick tips so that you can understand how to take the shots you are now seeing that I took in last summer. The first important thing we are going to talk about is the gear, but don't worry because for these shots you don't need any particular and expensive gear, but you just need two main things. The first important thing you need to take the photos is a smartphone, but in my case I've used a camera, but that doesn't matter much, you can decide what to use. And the second thing you need is a tripod. So for a tripod I don't mean all those huge and heavy tripods that are really difficult to carry, but I just mean a little tripod for your smartphone that you can easily insert for example in your backpack while you're traveling. So having a tripod is extremely important because when you're alone and you cannot ask to someone to take a photo to you, you need to place your smartphone or your camera and so having a little tripod is extremely important so that you can just open it and just put it for example on the ground or on something else and so it's gonna be more easy to decide the composition for your shot. Now that you know the gear needed we can talk about how to take the shot. So the first thing you have to do is to find a nice spot after you have to place the tripod but one important thing you have to do on your smartphone is to activate the countdown timer. By doing this you can press the shutter button and have few seconds just to place yourself in the photo. Now that you know this, the thing you have to do is to try out several attempts so that at the end you will have several shots and you can decide the best one. This is very important because when you're alone and you want to take a photo to yourself you need to be a bit patient because you need to try out some different things and so it may take some minutes. So yeah, the video is almost over. The following thing you have to do once you have taken the shot is to give maybe a little edit. I've already done a video about how to edit your photos from your smartphone in just few minutes so you can check it out from the link here. From there you can just understand how to use Snapseed that is a nice app to edit your photos that I actually use for example while I'm traveling. And so yeah, once you have edited the shots you are finally ready for example to share your photos for example on your social media or with your friends. So yeah, this video is over. Huge thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and even subscribe to my channel because soon I'm gonna publish lots of new content. So that's all, see you in the next one guys, bye!